happening to the nutrition in our food. In 1940, the average serving of spinach had 158 milligrams of iron in it. So you remember Popeye? And he would eat the can of spinach, dun, 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 dun. he would go and save olive oil. Well, by 1965, that same can of spinach now had 27 milligrams of iron in it. And take a guess what it has today. Two. Two. So Popeye would have to eat, what, 150 cans, 200 cans of spinach? Dun, 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 dun. I mean, you could, it's like a half an hour, an hour later. Um, so you can eat all the spinach you want. It's not going to give you the nutrition that you need. It doesn't have it. And you know, people say, oh, you're anemic. You should eat a lot of spinach. Psh, doesn't help, OK? So here's the United States Senate reports. We're malnourished no matter how much food we eat because the food does not contain the nutrients that it should. It's bad news to learn from our leading authorities that 99% of American people are deficient in these minerals and that a marked deficiency in any one of these minerals uh, actually results in disease. Let's prove that. Incidence of breast cancer in 1940, one out of every 20 women. Today, one out of every eight women. It is the number one killer of women 40 to 55 years old, breast cancer, and increasing at an alarming rate. National Cancer Institute reports 126% increase in prostate cancer among men in the last few decades, increasing at 1% per year, 1.7 million new cancer cases every year. 